Let's learn now how we can do batch processes. So if we have like a story with like 50 pages, we can do something to all the pages at once. And this includes our exporting when we want to export the entire story. We don't want to have to send every page one at a time. So there's actually a process that'll let us send uh, a batch export, which is great. And this is only going to affect the people with uh, the EX version of this software. So let's make sure we have a, uh, a file open with multiple pages. So I'm going to make sure this is checked and just use a four page story to demonstrate. Oh, we need a file name. I'm just going to call this the batch story. Okay, so it's going to open up a four page story here. And once it does that, we'll start doing something to all the pages all at once. Okay, so we have this four page story and none of the pages are open yet at this point. I mean, they're, they're there, but they haven't been uh, activated. So you don't even need to, you can have them open or you can just have them close like this. But if you know what you want to do, you just go down to, uh, under the file menu, you're going to go to batch process and click on that. And pretty much anything you can do to a single page, you can do to multiple pages and that's very helpful. So for example, if I wanted to add a new roster layer, on all the pages, I would just make sure that's clicked on and make sure all pages is clicked on. If I wanted to limit it to just one page, I could do this, but I want every page to be affected and keep these that they're fine. Actually, I'm going to have them close and overriding. That way I won't have to, it won't ask me if I need to save because otherwise if you do this, it's going to say, do you want to save this? Do you want to save this? And I'm just going to leave it like that. So once I have that selected, I can hit OK and it'll make this, this change. Oh, it's still asking me. So if I want it to not ask me, I can just say not show this dialog and continue. So OK. So it's adding a layer on each of these. Initially, they just have layer one, but now it's going to add layer two. And it's done. So let's open one of these to make sure it did it. Yeah, and you can see we have layer one and layer two, and normally it just has layer one, and all of them are configured the same way. Okay, so let's say I, I've done some artwork, and I'm just going to put some paint on a few of these. Okay, actually, I'll put something on every page. And last page. Okay, so I'm ready to uh, export my story. I'm all done, and I want to get it into JPEG format like, like I did before. So I'm just going to go up here to file and this time we're not going to use the batch process because that's more when we're working on the pages. We're actually going to use, we're actually going to go to export multiple pages and there is, there's several options for exporting. You can export in Kindle format, in EPUB data. Um, there's, there's different ways you can do this in fanzine, 3d preview for binding and so on. But, uh, the one that I use is batch export because I'm just doing this as a JPEG so I can turn it into a CBZ file or maybe a PDF file, but actually this is more for a CBZ file. So that's what I'm going to show you first. So let's do this batch export, click on it. And it's basically just going to ask what file format do you want? And I want JPEG and I'm just going to call it batch story, all pages and only main text. Actually, I want all pages. I don't know why it's only only main text, but we want all pages to be exported. And that looks good. And if you want to pick where, you, where it's saved, I'm just going to put it in the same spot I've been putting everything for this course. Um, course stuff. Okay. And then click OK. And it'll give you the same dialog that we got with our individual page that lets you modify the quality. I'm going to change this to, let's just make it 90 and I'll leave everything else the same except prefer quality and click OK. And it'll take a second as it exports each file one at a time. I don't know if I created a separate folder or if it's just going to put them in. I think it's just going to dump them in. I probably should have uh, done that a little more carefully and created a folder for them to land in, but it doesn't matter. It created the files and they're right here. These, these four files 
And we can look at them if we want. And there they are, our beautiful masterpiece. So, yeah, this is uh, much faster than sending them one at a time, I think you'll agree. And later on I'll show you how we can turn these into a CBZ file and read them all together.